Okay, grade 12, now we are going to look at the blues scale. And uh, I just want to tell you guys, I keep on forgetting um, to, to remind you, but um, here are the books that I've written and everything that I'm covering in these video clips are covered in my grade 12 book. And um, there's also a grade 10 and 11 book, those of you that are using it, you'll know that I, I give you very... Um, brief descriptions of the various scales or whatever topic um, I'm discussing. There's a lot of examples and also exercises, but not too many exercises, okay? Because you guys are, uh, are busy and you can't do theory the whole time, so there's a good balance between the information and the number of exercises. Okay, so, um, so if you're interested in getting the book, like I say, all the information is there you can just email me the my email address is in um, under my info section on this page okay so now we are going to look at the blues scale now this one you need to really just keep everything together as you write it because you can easily make a mistake when you are writing the blues scale Okay, so um, there are different versions of the blue scale and I'm just going to teach you or revise the very basic form of the blue scale and you can just use this scale when you're writing it in the exam. Chances are that they're going to ask you a scale like this to write in the exam. Okay, so let's have a look at the blue scale. <clears throat> So the first principle of the blue scale that I want you to remember is you use the major scale as a point of reference. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to leave out the second and the sixth scale degree. And then when you get to the third, the fifth and the seventh scale degree, you are going to write those scale degrees twice. Okay. And I'm going to explain to you why and how it works just now. So I'm just quickly going to, to do this on the board. And um, just to make it very simple, especially because I'm uh, uh, only starting to explain it, I'm going to use our C blue scale. And I'm going to do it ascending for you. So I'm starting on C. Now I'm just thinking in terms of my major scales, uh, scale degrees. Okay, So I'm thinking 1 leaving out two, then I'm writing three twice, then I have four, then I write five twice, then I skip six, then I have seven that I write twice, and then I have eight. Okay, and again, just double check that you left out uh, the, the correct note. Um, you know, as I was writing, when I got to the end and I ended on C, I knew that I, chances are that I actually did it correctly, okay? So I'm starting on my first scale degree. I omit the second scale degree. Then I write three, two times. Then I have four, five, twice skip six seven and eight okay so that is just the the basics of it so let's quickly have a look at the scale degree so three five and seven that i wrote twice okay so in the blue scale we have um, blue notes and that refers to they call it uh, the flattened okay but but it's more accurate to actually say lowered third, fifth, and seventh scale degree, okay, and um, they can, in a typical blues piece, you might have it that they only use the blue note, in other words, the, the flattened or the lowered uh, third, fifth, and seventh degree, or they have a combination between the, the, the normal major uh, scale degrees, which are on three, five, and seven, and the flattened notes okay so i like to actually um, write both those notes and show the examiner i'm aware that in practice that it it, it can be a co combination of them 
Okay, so um, in C major, you know that we don't have any sharps or flats. So that sort of makes it now um, easier in this example to just quickly add the flattened notes, okay? So because I'm writing the scale ascending, if you look at the two E's, I'm going to first have E flat before I get to E. Okay, so just think in terms of how the notes um, are placed on your piano. So it's, it's very easy. So it's not going to look like this. Um, it's not going to look like this. Okay, first having the E and then having the E flat. Because if you think um, in terms of your piano, E flat comes before E. Okay, so, so just keep that in mind when you're writing it. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to have E flat, then I have E, so remember you have to indicate the natural sign there, okay, to, to cancel the flat. Over here I'm going to have a G flat and then G natural, and then I'm going to have a B flat and B natural. Like I said, I like to just put these ones in brackets to show the examiner that I'm aware that it can be either just... The, the blue notes that are used in a piece or a combination between the blue notes and uh, the normal um, scale degrees on 3, 5 and 7. Okay, so that is basically your blues scale. And um, now I'm going to do another example, a little bit more of a complex example that you can just see how I, I keep my key signature in mind as I'm uh, making chromatic changes to uh, to the scale. <coughs> Sorry. So I'm going to, to start on E. Okay, so remember for grade 12, we only uh, think of the, the, the notes of the major scale. We're not thinking of minor scale. So if they say, uh, write the blue scale on E, write the blue scale on D, you're thinking, you, you're connecting it to that particular major scale okay so i already wrote out uh, the notes here for you so we're going to do the the blue scale on e okay so in other words i am going to use e major key signature okay and e major key signature four sharps um, f sharp Okay, so there you go. F sharp, G sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. Those that is the key signature of um, E major. Okay, so um, I'm going to quickly squash it in here. Sorry, I didn't leave enough space really, but I want to do it like this. Okay, so I'm doing this one with key signature. So I already wrote out the notes, so I've got E, then I omit the second scale degree, write the third one twice, and then um, four, five, uh, leave out um, six, and then I've got, sorry, leave out six, that is seven. <clears throat> okay, leave out six, and then I have seven and eight. Oh yeah, before I continue with this, I, I, I forgot to just mention one small thing. When it gets to the, the lowered fifth scale degree in the blue scale, they sometimes, and they really alternate this in, in music, okay? It's, it's different, especially if you've been classically trained. It's weird to think that you're com combining sharps and flats in the same scale but blues is a completely different style okay so what they sometimes do instead of using the the flattened fifth degree they sometimes replace it with the with its inharmonic equivalent the raised fourth or sharpened fourth scale degree okay so they can really in the same piece they they might have f sharp here and then just a bit later they use the g flat okay so it's perfectly normal to actually do it in the blue scale so um, instead of the g flat here you could also have had uh, replaced it with an f sharp okay good so let's just get back to this particular example so the blue scale on e 
Okay, so I'm thinking E major ski signature. Good. So I have my E and now I've got G sharp. Remember, it's G sharp. Think and pay attention to your key signature. Okay, otherwise you're going to make a mistake here. So this is already a sharp. I don't need to indicate it because it is in the key signature. So it's going to be followed by G double sharp. Okay, then I have A, then I have B, okay, so I have a, a normal B in E major, so the flattened one is um, going to be, oh my gosh, wait, sorry, I am getting confused here now myself, <laughs> I made a mistake, I'm sorry, let's just redo this, okay, so remember the blues notes are uh, the flattened or the lowered third, fifth, and seventh scale degree. Okay, so if a teacher can make a mistake, you guys can also make a mistake. <laughs> okay, so let's just uh, redo this. Okay, so we already have the sharp, so we need to have the flattened. The blue note is the flattened one, in other words, just a semitone lower. Okay, so I will have, because of the G sharp, I have to um, put a G natural and then. I will have to take it back to G sharp um, as I write the second one. Okay, now when we get to the B, so that is my fifth scale degree, it's a normal note in E major. So in other words, when I lower it, the flattened one, um, I have to say, I, we, we talk about the flattened one, but I don't like the term that much because it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a flat that you put there, like you can see over here, okay? But when they talk about the flattened note, uh, it, it just means that you lower that particular scale degree by a semitone. Okay, so I'm going to have a B flat there, and then I'm going to have my B natural. Then I get to my seventh scale degree, so I need, because I have a D sharp in my key signature, I will have to lower it, and blues people will, will say they flatten it, actually meaning that they lower it by a semitone. And then, of course, I go back to my normal note. And I would say put this in brackets. Okay, just to show the examiner that you know that uh, they can be used or uh, omitted in real music. Okay, so um, that is basically just a, a quick revision for you of the blue scale. And um, yes, so remember you write out the notes of the major scale, omit the uh, second and the sixth scale degree, and then you add a, a lowered or a flattened third, fifth, and seventh degree, which are known as the blue note. And that's basically it.